All right, I got me a new project. All right, so I got a, a broken off bolt right there, and it's on a it's on a flange on a on a shorty header. It's broken off just a little bit above flush. All right, so the first first thing I'll do is just grind it flat. Start out by doing that. I probably should have soaked it in PV blaster first, but I don't know. Whatever, who cares? I'm going to be using this kind of bolt extractor because it's the only one I have actually. I did that so I could kind of tell where the exact center is and, and be able to center punch it a little bit easier. Center punch. I'm going to start out the slightly smaller drill bit and then judge whether or not I could get this one in there without hitting the threads. It looks like I can but got to be careful. Oh yeah, I forgot PB Blaster. Really sprayed too much. I didn't do that on purpose. That's not cutting very good. Alright, so I got me some used motor oil. None of my drill bits will, will cut anymore. They just kind of do this. And heat up really bad. So if anybody's watching this and they think that, that I caused this by putting a little hole in first and then trying to step it up. If that's what I did wrong to make it not want to cut again. Just leave that in the comments because I almost feel like if I would just have started out with the big one it might have. It might have worked, I don't know. Why wouldn't it have? Okay, so I always talk about biggest hole possible. I would like to have went a little bit bigger, but if I could put this in there and get a bite on it, I really don't care. I think I run the risk of breaking it more by not having it like deep in there, but I kind of skipped, skipped that part by accident, but uh, whenever you, to put this in, all you do is tap it in with a hammer, and it's good to have it against something solid like this. That way you'll actually be able to get it in further and and if you don't have nothing behind it and you just start hitting it, you could possibly bend a flange or something like that. Moment of truth. Oh no. And it's not gonna get it. Oh! There it goes. I had a feeling it wouldn't be that tight because this stuff isn't that old and it's steel on steel. Oh, look at that. Look at that success. All right, so that went pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about my project that I'm working on. Uh, and it's what it is it's a it's a turbo kit for somebody's race car but seriously i'm turning into like the shoemaker with no shoes like i'm doing these turbo kits for people and i don't have a turbo myself actually that's mine you know this is for my own personal stuff right but like i can't afford to finish the motor like i don't have no money like i'm barely scraping by right now but anyway so what i'm gonna do is take all these pipes off and use this block just to uh, just to build another kit. You could say the way that I'm doing things is pretty stupid because uh, you should be doing it on the car, but on these on, on this one I'm gonna be able to get away with it because just trust me I am. Like because the turbo kit all I'm doing is a crossover. Okay, so that's one side of the engine. And then you have this. V-banded, and this will put it right under the oil pan, like kind of like by the sump, like right next to it, about two inches away, if you if you point it straight across. So then now we have this other hitter. So the plan is to put this on the other side, 
and then just run the crossover like that. And that's it. And also to take this off. So if anybody in the it's watching, you know, if anybody knows a lot about this kind of stuff, I'm kind of new to it. I'm just doing what they want. This is for a friend of mine. And uh, is it bad to have, does this stuff need to match better? Or probably really wouldn't matter, would it? I don't think it would matter. But if anybody has anything to com comment about that, go ahead and, you know, leave it in the comments. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, that, that's all I got for now. I'll, I'll continue this on, a, on another video, on my next video.